they unapologetically love using emojis? Not on Reddit. Anywhere else. I'm fine with. Me. Some time ago I was scared to be shamed and downvoted by Reddit for using emojis so I joined the emojis be ad. Train, now I honestly don't give a shit. Sometimes. But usually in Reddit comments I never use them xd. For some reason Redditors act like using them is some sort of cardinal sin but in reality it's not different than using. The one thing I will say and I just can't help it. When I see emojis I automatically assume you are young. Like 13 to 17. I use them with people I know use them too. I do enjoy them though lol. Yes, sometimes I'm afraid people might find it annoying but who cares, it's just how I type. I really only use them talking to women. Sometimes with close friends. But hardly ever Reddit. Reddit seems to hate emojis. Me. Yes, sometimes I worry that people hate it. But I find it more effective in conveying my tone as opposed to punctuation. Otherwise I'm just using exclamation points like a madman. Workers who rely on tips. Who are the worst tippers? I worked as a waiter for two months in an officer's, military, club. The worst tippers by far were the actual officers and especially the double dippers, retired officers who were also overpaid federal employees. This one retired colonel, and GS 13 or 14. I believe, would order appetizers, entrees, dessert, coffee, etc., and leave something like a 5% tip. Max. The best tippers? The enlisted families, the restaurant was open to all ranks. I'm not big on social engineering. But I believe our society would be better on every level if everyone had to spend six months working food service. Food service teaches you to be polite to people who serve you. It teaches you empathy. Because you never know who's having a terrible day and is just trying to make it through. It teaches you that treating someone badly just because they can't retaliate isn't funny or a demonstration of power. It's bullying. It also teaches you that you should be nice to people who will be alone with your food. No I'm going to get hate for this. But as someone who has worked as a bartender in the bar slash nightclub slash restaurant slash and strip club industry for 13 years, black people are by far the worst tippers of anyone I've ever served. No matter the venue, restaurant, or bar. This isn't an opinion either. This is an absolute observation. And before I get a ton of replies saying I'm black and I tip good. Or I have a ton of black people tip me well exclamation mark and quote. Yes, I know not all black people tip bad. But the post asked who were the worst tippers and in my experience it is black people by a large margin. What is your favorite way to eat potatoes? I have no idea. We sometimes make a Greek roast chicken and potato recipe for dinner. Where the potatoes gets to soak in the juices from the chicken and the seasonings. That is always very good. Just simple mashed potatoes always works good too. Especially if we blend in some grated cheese and an egg. And also just cutting them into bits. Covering them in oil and spices and cooking them in the oven. I'm the form of what you Americans call fries. I call them chips because I'm British. But slightly overcooked. With added salt and ketchup. What a great question. I have a very specific answer. I'm sure you're familiar with the concept of the fully loaded twice baked potato. Usually topped with sour cream. Chives. Cheddar cheese. Bacon bits. And possibly broccoli. Well. About 18 years ago there was a restaurant that catered our work lunches sometimes and they did a build your own baked potato bar. And these potatoes were gigantic. They were at least three times the size of a typical russet potato. My favorite combination of toppings went like this. Barbecue chicken. Cheddar cheese. Southwest ranch sauce. Tomato salsa. Peppers and onions. Crushed up Doritos. Bacon bits. Two types. The first is roasties. To get them having a super crispy outside you cut to size and boil them for a short while then get rid of water. Put goose fat on and give them a shake in the deep pan and pop in oven. The other is baking them like baked potatoes and take them out. Cut into halves. Scoop out the potato into a bowl. Then add Philadelphia cheese spread and chopped chives in. Mash it all up and pop back into the potato skins. Put some cheese of your choosing on tip and put under grill to melt and brown the tops. Serve with sour cream at the side. What are some things you suspect women never tell men? That you're her second maybe third possible fourth and even in the realm of possibility fifth choice. The details of getting a pap smear. Edit, this is a joke. I don't know all of the details of getting a pap smear because it's not a medical procedure I have personally had done. Similarly I don't know the details of a root canal. The amount of friends that hit on her behind his back. The amount of men that are in her DMs and Facebook messenger that flirt with her. She's not exactly encouraging this behavior but she's not blocking them or turning them away either. I don't want to generalize all women, but one thing women will never tell a guy is their past history with ex-partners that they low-key jab at guys. Some women do this. Not all women do this and I don't want to generalize this. Another thing some women don't tell guys is how sometimes society loves to hold women to fit a certain body type and it can hurt their self-esteem. Not all guys want women that are Kim Kardashian or an Instagram model. Most guys have preferences but at the end of the day we love women for who they are and dislike women that like to chase this modern women archetype, nice ass big tits etc. Some women will not tell a guy that they damn well know that he likes her because she likes the attention, favors, free stuff, etc. that he gives her but she doesn't want to put in the effort to reciprocate. Plus, 
claiming ignorance of his feelings gives her plausible deniability of slash when he pops the relationship question or forces the issue. They are not nearly as feminist as they pretend. A lot of women selectively cling to elements of the patriarchy that are self-serving. I'm not hating either. I just wish people in general were more self-aware and honest about their ideals. Too many people trying to get their cake. Eat it too. And also shame you for eating your own cake.